Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. I got messages here for the collective. This is for all signs. Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Okay, North Node. Okay, um, thank you to my new subscribers. Welcome to my channel here. I do read for you and I read for cross watchers as well. But this, since this is a collective, come on, bring your ass on up in here and sit down. Um, I have messages for all of you as a collective. <clears throat> Some of y'all been through some real life situations, okay? This could have been like with your family. This could have been like with people, um, family, love, co-workers, or whatever. I feel like some people are realizing that they should never have went against you. They should never have done any magic on you. Because it seemed like you guys have, whatever this is that you had to push through, it's like, you. I did see the Ten of Wands, and now I'm seeing the Empress, Okay, I'm seeing the three of pentacles. That lets me know that's that's work. Okay, um, I've seen the ten of wands with the seven of pentacles. So this is y'all, like y'all were working like blood, sweat, and tears with whatever this is that you guys are have wanting to pay off. And I feel like it is paying off for you here. Some of you guys are literally going to go from rags to riches. Some of y'all know too well like how I feel to be at the bottom. You know what I mean? And then it's like not only at the you at the bottom, there's people kicking you while you at the bottom or there's people kicking you while you down or you don't have the, you know what I mean? You don't have the most money or you don't live in the best neighborhood or you're not driving the fanciest cars or, you know what I mean? Like there's people literally admiring your struggle because you make it look so good. Now, I feel like these people see something in you collective to the point where it's like it's, it, it bothers them because they see you are a diamond in a rough. They see your potential. Whatever it is that you didn't see in yourself, they see it in you. So I'm going to take y'all to church a little bit because some of y'all got some ain't shit family members that has been talking cash shit behind your back. Some of y'all got people that's dealing with false ass twin flames some of you got people that's feeling stupid because every rumor every lie that they had conspired against you it's a fucking lie and they're and they're bitter now they're bitter you see what i'm saying the three of pentacles this was people talking about what you invested in what you have worked hard in with the seven of pentacles all oh, that shit ain't gonna pay off oh it's childish you, you man please you don't know this you don't know that but at the same time they're grouping up together in teams to work with some of you it's people that you work with that's doing whole shit behind your back the thing is they don't think that you know about it i'm getting you dude Claire. but you're not the type of person or people to even, you just take that shit to the chin. You ain't even finna, what we, we, we argue, what we doing, what we arguing for. You gonna take that shit to the chin and they're gonna be in this five of cups. Because when they see you, oh, they really gonna have to see you. They really gonna have to see you. So, for some of you, Y'all could have been dealing with a false twin flame. Or this could be your person that was with a false twin flame. And they have gotten a realization about you being their real, real true twin. That you were supposed to help them elevate their business to help heal them. And they wanted to go and build with someone else. So they chose a karmic contract when you was trying to help them out of that karmic, their karmic ways. You were trying to build with somebody. You was trying to put in that work, that seven of pentacles, that blood, that sweat, that them tears here. Now you got them in the nine of swords. Now they feeling guilty because deep in their head, they're like, oh, damn. Now nah, I'm miserable. I should have chose you. And I don't like nobody interfering while I'm working, child. So let's see. Let's tap into this read here. Yeah, now somebody is feeling left out because they know something. They know it's over between y'all. We got the five of pentacles to the death. Now they're feeling lost. They're feeling lonely here. For some of you spiritually, somebody is spiritually lost out here in these streets. And I'm getting, you tried to make them see the light. You tried to, you know what I mean? But it, it takes...
I ain't even finna say it, but okay. For some of you, somebody is about to hit get hit with the Rico Law. I don't even know why this card isn't here. Somebody is about to, their organization or their business could be collapsing here. That's that big hierophant, ten of pentacles, energy in reverse. Yeah, somebody shit finna take a hit big time. So let's see, what does the collective need to know at this time? We got girl fight in reverse. Ain't no competition. Now people are backing away from the competition. Like, no, you a worthy adversary. You a worthy adversary. You, you know what? This is the thing. This is why I won't. Like, I made in my community tab, I said I, I, can, I can never, like, downplay another woman. Because let me tell you something. My whole life, I had to fucking fight. I may make it look good. I, I, I may make it look good. But I always had women that was jealous of me for no reason. And I just wanted to be a genuine friend. My own mother was jealous of me. My own mama didn't like me. But I understand why this happened. I understand why I had to go through and face what I had to face. Because let me tell you something. Listen, I'm a different breed. I'm a different breed. Yeah, they've been knowing it's played out. The competition is played out. You got people like, listen. I don't even want to, ah, oh, nah, I'm not going to go up against you no more. I don't want to argue with you no more. I don't want to fight with you no more. I'm not about to compete with you no more. You too strong. One thing about, I strategically win wars and win fights and win battles. I don't have to, we don't have to do no ego battle where it's like, oh, I'm about to see how long you can break, man, because I've been through too much. That's why I would never tear another woman down because... We all been through a lot of shit as women. A lot. And I refuse. I don't give a fuck. Women done played me my whole life. And it was women that was real close to me. Played me. And it was men. This is why I just, my kids and animals. That's just, that's it. I don't even want to be around human beings, but I can help you. He or the collective. That's my job. Is to be a spiritual teacher and to love people unconditional teach people about unconditional love. Okay? Because we ain't finna do none of this. We ain't finna we ain't finna do none of this. It's pathetic. It's useless. It's just crab in a barrel mentality. We ain't doing that. Ain't, ain't no gatekeeping. What do I need to gatekeep for? Okay, you know what? I want you to climb the So Yeah, I'm going to show you where I got it from. Yeah, I got it from this place. You see what I'm saying? That be the problem with people. They be putting themselves in one side of competition with you collective and they are already done lost. Because you wasn't even competing. Actually, you was rooting for the motherfucker to win. You been rooting for them. But then they got to go and do spell work. Then they got to spread your name through the mud and make these lies on you. And then after, once you've done, you you been working hard, you know what I mean, dunking, and, 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 and you kept, people kept trying to file you and like, man, nah, call you out, out the game. Like, nope, you can't play. Sit your ass down and you steady like winning. Three, winning. Three, yeah, I won that game. Then, once you make a name for yourself or once you go from rags to riches, guess what? Here they come. Here they come. But was they at your practice games? Were they? Now, after you done went through the seven of pentacles, you done got to the eight of pentacles, your reputation, you committed, you dedicated. Now you in the nine of pentacles, right? You in the nine of pentacles, you self-sufficient, you abundant, you see everything growing, it's, it's, it's doing what it's supposed to, them investments and everything that you have worked so hard in, seven of pentacles, because you came from the five of pentacles, you don't work your way up. Now you got the ten of pentacles. People don't want to see that. They don't like seeing success stories. I love seeing it. See, now they want you back. Now they want you back. 
let's keep it going yeah so they going through divination and using divination and they're like well they keep paying for some of you they keep paying a reader they keep paying a reader because they're curious about how they're going to send you this offer when they know that they're blocked from coming towards you. They're curious. How am I going to send the collective this offer because I know they dodging me. They, they, they dodging me. They just got too much. They got too much going on with them. Okay. So we got divination abusers. Somebody just keeps pulling cards on you collective. This person wants you back. You know this situation is old with, it's, it's done, it's tired, it's played out. Okay, this is like a rerun show. The only show that I like watching reruns is Martin. Okay? Martin. I watch the same episodes over and over and over again on Martin. And then even get tired of that. Then the next day I'll watch it again. All right, so let's see. For some of you, people are just, this is your own family members that's like, I'm about to back out. I don't even want to compete. Yeah, Six of Cups. I don't even want to support you like that. No, I don't fuck with you. You went a Nine of Pentacles. You don't give a fuck anyway. You're unbothered anyway. What's this? Yeah, let's, let's, let's go. Yeah, like I said, Five of Cups. Now people are regretting even coming against you. Like, like I said earlier, excuse me, y'all. I've maybe been stumbling over my words a little bit. <laughs> but now people are regretting coming against you here with the five of cups because them coming against you, them trying to battle you, they're going through their own losses. And for some of you, you even warn these people like, man, don't, don't do that. Not because you, you know what I'm saying? Don't, don't, don't come against me because you want to be in competition with me or, you know what I mean? Because you don't like the way that I think or you don't like the way that, you know what I mean? And I'll be seeing some comments down there in my comment section. Y'all don't like the way. I don't give a fuck what you like. And I'm going to say that. And I'm going to say it again. I don't give a fuck what you like. Or how I say, how I read the cards, or how I interpret the energy. If you don't like it, get the fuck off my channel. Period. Five of Cups. Nine of Wands. Yeah, because you know what? For some of you, y'all trigger people here because you actually stand in this energy. You actually stand in this energy. The Empress, you worked your way up all the way up to the Empress. You ain't just calling yourself the Empress. You have worked your way up to being the Empress. And y'all know this is hard-ass energy to be in. For some of you, this could be your own mother that has a chip on their shoulder because your own mother tried to compete with you, talk about you like a dog, and do you greasy. It be your own people. For some of you, this happened during Thanksgiving. They wonder why you ghosted the family. Your own mama doing research on you. They know what they did. Ten of swords, you? Yeah, they know that. Give me the Empress, Nine of uh, Wands. Yeah, the Eight of Cups. I mean, Pentacles. I'm sorry. The Eight of Pentacles. It's like people ruin their reputation trying to ruin you with the Eight of Pentacles. They ruin themselves trying to ruin you. Now they got a chip on their shoulder because they're not being seen in a good light. They're in the Five of Cups from trying to come towards the real Empress. losses grief whoever this is probably been lost their job they've kept doing something over and over and over again repetitive to to hinder you to to man but i feel like y'all have overcame all of that and it's like now since i can't beat them i'm gonna join them face ass mother that's what i'm saying if i can't beat you i'm gonna join you because you're so strong i need somebody like that on my team man watch out and you already know what's up, the Empress. I mean, the High Priestess <laughs> with the Empress. You already know what's going on. If I can't beat them, I'm going to join them. The High Priestess, Eight of Wands. Right? Right. But it was never no competition. It was never no fight anyway. Play it out. 
Let me see what I'm saying. Three of Wands. Yeah, you just don't see no future with this person at all. Okay, you know this person is stuck in the past. You know the Two of Swords here. Like, whoever this is, yeah, they want a relationship with you and they possibly could want one with somebody else. So it's like, well, I'm torn in between two. I'm torn in between two. I don't know if I want you. I'm going to go and leave the other person hanging while I come towards you and offer you a, a connection. But once we get together, I'm still going to be undecided if I should actually fully give you something. For real. Two of swords. Somebody can't make up their mind because they're not still they're still the two of swords is somebody that they they closed off. They don't try to see shit. They like, no, nah, I don't want to see it that way. I no, I'm no. They're still stuck in the past of something that is not moving forward, of something that is played out. For some of you, y'all could be dealing with a Scorpio, a Libra, Sagittarius, a Virgo, or an Aries. Three of Wands. Yep, Page of Cups. But I want to come and offer you an apology, even though I don't see no future with you, even though this isn't going to go anywhere, even though I'm stuck in my past. What's the Page of Cups? I want to come and extend a lighthearted gesture. Yeah, Ace of Cups. But you're no longer in love with this person. You're focused on self-love. This is going to be bad news for them. Ace of Cups, reverse, is the emperor. For some of you, yeah, this is your person. We've seen that this person is coming to realization that you that you are their person. The emperor and the empress is out here. For some of you, you have repressed re emotions about this person. They did too much to the point where you just don't have any feelings at all left. So they can go on with that page of cups ass apology. For some of you, they possibly want to try to get you pregnant. Okay? And for my masculine man, she may want to trap you. She may want to poke a hole through the condom. So be careful. But I don't see no divine feminine doing no shit like that. Not a divine being. Give me this emperor. They're going through it. They had a, a, a sudden epiphany here. A realization. A shocking moment. Wow. For others of you, they're going through a tower because everything that they, everything that was built with this emperor that's now going through a tower moment now. They're going through an awakening. Everything is being shattered. Everything that they once believed in is being shattered down to the ground so they can start fresh. They got to start with new, you know what I mean, a new pavement. Something is played out. Yes, you see what I'm saying? Six of Swords. So they're coming towards you to try to reconcile. Or this person could be going towards... A three of cups situation that has them blocked. What's this tower here with the emperor? Yep, this is changes. Unexpected changes here. All right. These are faded events happening. This was supposed to happen like this, this way. But they chose to be like this. Is this empress? Um, ooh, we ten of swords. The empress? How you leave your empress for dead? How you leave your empress for dead? How you do that? What's this once you back? You see what I'm saying? The hermit. So this person could be soul searching. They're trying to find the truth with, from deep within here. But this person possibly have ghosted you here with the hermit. Now they're gonna be, they, like I said before, they could be researching ways to try to get you back. Or you know what I mean? Like this, this person could be very wise. They could be just going within. You could be dealing with a Virgo. Give me a hermit. Yeah, we got the devil here. Yeah, this person is thinking about their toxic ways or how obsessed they are. I feel like somebody is obsessed with ghosting like people here. But you may be dealing with a Capricorn also that possibly ghosted you. That wants you back. Give me the devil here. But somebody's very obsessive. I feel like this person could be going within. Like damn I am controlling. Like I, it is my ego. Like I just be doing too damn much man. This person is reflecting on their toxic ways. Hermit. Devil. Yeah we got the knight of swords. So for some of you, this person is coming right after you here with the Knight of Swords.
This could be maybe this person ghosted you. What's the Knight of Swords here? What what they coming towards? Why? Somebody's going right towards the the Emperor. Okay, the King of Wands. Somebody's planning to take action here. This could be a Sagittarius, a Leo, or a Gemini. I see somebody coming right after someone here trying to attack them here. This could be a Leo trying to attack you. Or they tried to. Okay. Or this could have been a Gemini. What's this Nine of Swords, King of Wands? Okay, we got the Page of Pentacles and then a Three of Cups. Yeah, so somebody paid a friend to attack you or or I don't know. Somebody paid somebody to attack you. With the Page of Pentacles and the Three of Cups, or somebody found information here about this, this group or this coven or whatever that possibly was studying divination, pulling tarot cards, and it was like a group of motherfuckers doing this shit, too. I can't, man. I'm not making this up. What's the Page of Pentacles, Three of Cups? Yeah, I'm, if I'm lying, I'm flying, bitch. Can't you see? And then a motherfucker going to have a nerd. Yeah, the magician. They kept doing spell work. They kept pulling cards. Why does this person want to take action towards their empress? Because. Somebody could wear their hair straight. Or they have a straight wig. Somebody also could be getting. Um, the karmics are realizing that they are karmic now. That they're not divine. Everybody was in karmic energy. So don't feel bad. Okay. Because there are some energies that are karmic. And they're not even bad people like that. Like if you choose to be in that energy. In that karmic energy. You just got to keep learning lessons. Over and over and over again. Until you actually are ready to step in that divine energy. There is the people that is divine. That shouldn't even be acting the way that they be acting. And I'm just going to keep it a book. There are people that is divine, that be scheming, that, that's supposed to be divine, right? Scheming, plotting, and doing all types of weird shit. Ace of Swords, that's the truth. But they come off very divine. They come off very divine. Behind the closed doors, behind the scenes, these bitches be doing spell work on people. They be trying to, man... I, what's the magician here like i said what's the magician here the magician is the seven of swords and somebody got caught red-handed for trying to strategically do magic and, and get away with something this could have been like a love spell that somebody was doing too okay so that you won't get what's rightfully yours now they have to come clean for some of you somebody possibly have gotten caught in the act like in a mix of prepping some shit like what you putting that you know what you doing with that or this is somebody that's coming clean about the spell work that they did because they have already got caught. Yeah. 7-7 seven, seven is a warning about a betrayal. Ten of swords. Yeah. A painful ending of a curse or a curse is broken. Seven of cups. This could have been somebody doing work here to alter your mind, to make you seem confused here, collective. They wanted to mess with your head, baby. They wanted you to hallucinate. They wanted you to see spirits and ghosts. Like, man, they didn't know who they was up against. Because I'm getting eyes going right back to them times 10. Divination abuser. These people was bitching and gossiping about you behind your back. Yeah, we got the star and the hierophant. For some of you, this could be an Aquarius. Or this could be a Taurus. That was spying in on your life here. Page of Swords. Trying to see your movements. Or I don't know. Or this could have been this could have been a leader here somehow. This could be a leader. And then we got the star. This is somebody that could have been. I'm picking up a leader of an occult. As well with the Hierophant. This could be somebody that's very religious. As well. This person may hold a lot of knowledge. Okay, they may be in a spotlight. They may be a star. Give me the hierophant with the star. You see what I'm saying? And they watching you, Page of Swords. You protected though, 2444. What's going on with this? Page of Swords. Yeah, Four of Cups. And they're trying to come and send you an offer. But yeah, your ancestors has guided you out of there. Yo, you got some ancestors that's some goons. I'm going to tell you right now. They ain't going to play about you. 
This person is trying to see like, what's this four of cups though with the page of swords? Yeah, okay, two of cups. What's the what's the four of cups? Queen of swords. Yeah. For some of you, you just like nah, you just not interested. Okay. Or you're just being guided. The Six of Swords, it's your ancestors here guiding you straight through the path. They're like, nah, just move away. Like, you know what I mean? I'm not really seeing any drama or any competition or anything like that. I feel like people are realizing that they shouldn't have came up against you, Collective. But, you know, it is what it is. Some people have to learn the hard way. Yeah, we got the strength. They shouldn't have, yeah, that ego, yeah, that ego will get you in some, in some real trouble here. What's the Six of Swords? Yeah, you moving on the way to what's yours, your wishes, with the Nine of Cups. What makes you happy? Like, this ain't no battle of the fucking ego, or who got the biggest ego, or who the biggest, the top dog. Man, sit your ass down. Nine of Cups, Six of Swords. Ten of Wands. It was a long journey. It was, it was a battle. Y'all pushed through to that shit. But now you you going. This was hard to get to this nine of cups. This wasn't no easy ride. And I feel like with you collective, you make that shit look easy. Even though you got them ten of wands, you're like, man, I'm about to push through this shit. It is what it is. Even though I'm faced with what I'm faced with, I'm 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 gonna do what I gotta do. Ten of wands, two of cups. For some of you, y'all feel like being in a relationship would be burdensome. And no cap, like I mean. I feel like y'all feel like being in a relationship would be burdensome. It possibly would. So, I don't know. Okay. So, let's see. Let's get um, a couple more cards. And I'm going to end this reading for the collective. Hopefully, it gave you guys a little bit of insights. All right. So, let's see. I wasn't gonna do no reading today, but I was like, you know what, why not? Yeah, some yes, yeah, so I get all these fancy things from you know, somebody just they do fraud, okay? And I feel like that's coming to the light. Yeah, the divine closed this cycle. Somebody took too long. Now they wanna now they wanna come and change or you know what I mean? What's next? This the divine closed this cycle. Your spirit team was like, nah. We're going to send you over to somebody else here. I know this was a hard journey, Ten of Wands, and you, you, you had to push through a lot. All ten of these wands. I guess somebody underestimated you. They didn't know you had it in you. Yeah. Masculine talks so bad about divine feminine to so everyone even grouped up with her ops or his ops. Five of Cups. This person wants your forgiveness. Now, whoever this karmic feminine energy is, they're stalking, they're watching you, and they're spying on you. They're not competing with you no more. Because now they they, they had to face their own losses here with the Five of Cups. Guilt, shame. This person can't even look at to the public here. They got to look down. For some of you, they got to look down when they see you. They can't even come near you because your energy is that strong. They have to look down to the ground. Oh, yeah, look down when you see a real goddess. Oh, my God. Yeah, because your halo was hidden to test how this person would treat you. And for some of you, I feel like you've been through the Ten of Wands with this person. But you a real earth angel. Even when they were spreading rumors on you. Even when they tried to stun on you with the new lover. They did the most. And they didn't think you were going to find out about this collective. But I'm getting you did. And I, and, I, and I feel like you just kept it moving. Even though it was hard for you to face this Ten of Swords, Ten of, ten of Wands, shit was hard, but you just kept it moving. You took that shit straight to the chin, respectfully. Now, when you go from rags to riches, because you got it out the mud, everybody that came up against you gonna have to take it straight to the chin, disrespectfully. So I'm gonna leave it there. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, turn the notification bell on so you will not miss any of my videos. Until next time, bye.